Oh no, modern audiences, where are you? Save us. <laughs> Oh my gosh, after all the gaslighting about how successful the show was, after they keep telling us it's a rating success, the iPlayer numbers haven't come in, oh, you're just not counting Disney+, Plus. oh, uh, the market's changed, but we've got the youth demographic, every sign they've actually shown when you actually get into real metrics and really what's going on is that the Nikuti Gatwa Russell T. Davies bastardization of Doctor Who is an abject failure. These people have uh, uh, intentionally destroyed this show, uh, and then they cry about it, like they're victims somehow. And then, uh, you know, they they try to like rile up the fan base to like, I guess, try to get them to write a letter writing campaign to save them or something like that. But now the truths come out. Uh, I I feel very vindicated in this because I was reporting very early on, even before everything aired that uh, the future was in doubt here, that uh, Gatwa and Millie Gibson were talking about leaving the show, uh, and Bad Wolf actually approached me and uh, tried to rebuke me on this. They lied to me, uh, and, <laughs> and uh, I was right, is what it comes down to. All right, everybody, my name's John Delarose. I am a professional science fiction writer. I would love if you'd subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out some good science fiction, we have the Hidden Emperor graphic novel right here on Kickstarter. You'll absolutely love this. This is high action and adventure. You see, we're already over 21,000 doing amazing right here. Once we hit this 22,000 mark, everybody gets a free trading card from our variant cover artist who did a beautiful job on our cover here, as you can see. So thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, go all in on the complete Ayla Rin Adventures. Uh, it's a great place to catch up right now. We have two uh, regular prose books and, and two graphic novels uh, to build this universe, and we're just getting started. We have some awesome stuff coming down the pipeline. Uh, I can't wait, but I'm going I'm to keep my focus on this for now because <laughs> I know better than to talk about too many books and all that. I, I write a lot. I'm very prolific, so uh, it, uh, it, can get, uh, it can get overwhelming. But thank you so much for the support so far. I would love to get to 300 backers shortly, and uh, that'll be in the description below as well. All right. So uh, the news and day of the day is uh, that uh, the future of Nakuti Gatwa's Doctor Who is in doubt. Oh, no. Uh, via the mirror, Nakuti Gatwa could be on his way out of the TARDIS as the actor failed to pledge his future to Doctor Who. All right. So this is great. Uh, immediately right here, full stop. Again, I reported on this back in March that they were saying that after season two, it might not be continuing anymore. We got that Millie Gibson is out in season two and they're replacing her with an Indian actress to double down on the woke. Uh, Russell T. Davies has been going around crying about it uh, at San Diego Comic-Con. He was asked about it and deflected about the situation, which we covered on a video yesterday talking about trans rights and uh, being scared as a gay man instead of actually... Uh, addressing the fans and their concerns here. Uh, and so this whole house of cards is starting to fall. And it's it's been falling since actually before this all came out. I mean, you guys remember with the 60th anniversary specials, uh, when they tried to bring back David Tennant to, to get the member berries, because they, they already had a problem. Let's be honest. Nobody wanted to watch Doctor Who after Jodie Whittaker anyway. It left a sour taste in everybody's mouth. It just, uh, you know, having a female doctor was stupid. Uh, and then it went full woke in that uh, Chibnall era, which was even worse. Uh, but, uh, hey, uh, they tried to get everybody back. They put three specials together just with complete woke politics throughout all of it, lecturing the doctor on being male presenting as a time lord. I mean, it was so insulting. I mean, it seems like ages ago. You always forget this stuff happens on the Internet. <laughs> and they actually gave interviews back then saying they were going to go get very political about things. Uh, Russell T. Davies said multiple times, what are you even doing in 2024 if you're not doing this kind of thing? <laughs> That's my my impression of him. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, the Gungan uh, uh, guy from uh, Star Wars Episode One, the the boss boss guy. <laughs> That's what David sounds like. Uh, anyway, um, it's uh, it's a travesty. These guys went out there, uh, crapped on fans in advance of it. You remember Gatwa himself went out there and was like, "Don't watch the show, you bigots." And started crying about uh, being a black guy. Oh joy, that was great. And uh, and then the show came out, and it was just as bad as everybody expected. The writing was atrocious, nonsensical, very lazy. It was like Russell T. Davies turned in first drafts and just tried to ape a lot of stuff from other shows and from his past at Doctor Who, uh, and uh, and just uh, phoned it in. And then uh, they went out and they cried about the ratings afterwards. 
And they, they admitted that the ratings were not where we like uh, immediately after the show went off. But he said the youth demographic is in there at greater numbers than ever. Well, sure enough, the youth demographic was not actually carrying any ratings. They never provided any data of that. And we knew it was a failure. Now, when I reported on this before the show was coming out, as they were giving hints that these guys would be, because look, the networks knew this was going to be a failure in advance. Let's not, let's not mince words. Of course they did. Uh, that they were going to be out. I reported on it. And uh, Bad Wolf messaged me. And they told me that this was wrong, that Gotway was contracted through 2029. Okay? Well, guess what? Uh, Doctor Who's not contracted through 2029. So they lied. They straight up emailed me, one of the producers from Bad Wolf, and lied about it. <laughs> and they lied about Millie Gibson leaving. I uh, and, and everything they've, they've said is a whole lie. Why do they lie so much? I don't understand it. Like, they're going to get caught. And so this is the news here. Uh, sex education favorite. He's not a favorite. Will play Time Lord in upcoming Series 15, but refuse to say if he will stay on. Showrunner Russell T. Davies added fuel to the fire by insisting BBC and Disney have not locked him into a deal for the next season, which is the third season. Now, this is kind of a misnomer, too, because uh, they they call this first and second seasons. But if you look at it, each one of these is just eight episodes each. And if you looked at the David Tennant era, you know, you were getting like six episodes by that uh, by that third season, 16 episodes rather for the season. It was like 14 to 16 episodes was what they tried to do. So really, these are this is one season that's that's split into two. It was it was commissioned probably as one. They split it into two so they could show that they have two seasons before they go off the air. And uh, and it, it, it's something so they don't just get a one and done kind of look because because they wanted to make it look like a success, right? Uh, oh, we were renewed for a second season. Well, well they weren't. <laughs> so even even the way they presented the the two season structure is a complete lie too. This is really just one. Uh, so there it is. The shock news emerged when Russell, Nakuti, and Go co-star Millie Gibson promoted the series two at Comic Con. U.S. outlets stated the plot leaves Nakuti's future open ended. Nakuti told of pressure he faced as the fifteenth Doctor. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's too much pressure for me. And admitted it'd taken him two years to get a handle on the role. He also said he'd have no idea if he'd stay on for a third season. Interesting. When pushed for an answer on Friday, he smiled nervously and glanced at Russell, who confirmed Akuti's future on the show was up in the air. He said, we've shot season two, but that's only halfway through. We've got all these months of posts to come. It's a long way. No decisions yet. He said that the playing the Doctor was surreal. It's a pinch me moment. I'm still growing into the Doctor, but season two was lovely. It felt like a suit was fully fitted. I found my finding my feet in season one and having the time of my life, but season two felt like a chance to flex those muscles properly. Well, it's going to be more of the same. We know exactly what's coming. They're they're pushing the politics even harder. Uh, Russell T. Davies says the trans agenda is more important than the show. And uh, pretty crazy that they're already admitting that this is probably not going to be coming back for a third season. After all their talk of success, after all, it's just the haters, the bigots out there, the real Doctor Who fans love it. Um, it's really just the mainstream media who's getting access to these people who are championing it. Everybody else tuned out and didn't watch it and hated it. Now, it's going to be even worse ratings in this next season because, like, it's not even a new season, a new start for things for people to check out. It's just a continuation. Uh, and uh, they know where those ratings numbers are going to go. I mean, th these people have been around the block long enough to understand that they're not just going to get this magical boost. There's not going to be this uh, swelling outpour of fans all of a sudden who are going to be super excited about this anymore. It's not going to happen. Everybody's tuned out. Everybody's saying we're done. Everybody's saying Doctor Who is completely dead. And uh, this is where they're at. Now, I find it really funny that they're just out there continuing the charade like it's a success, even through all this stuff. But the mask comes off and it slips. That's why they're very, very cautious with these direct uh, questions when people ask them stuff like this, never to give direct answers. They always beat around the bush. Uh, Russell T. Davies starts uh, fumbling over his words and can't even talk. Uh, you, you've seen how uncomfortable they are with what they're doing. And part of that's because they know what they've done to Doctor Who is a destruction of Doctor Who. It's a lie. It's awful. Um, and uh, and they've done it intentionally. And And now they're out there like pretending like they care <laughs> it's really really sad to watch so yeah i i'm, I'm definitely going to see after this second season i could definitely see him being out of there like i said bad wolf told me earlier in the year 
that he's contracted through 2029. That, that would imply like three or four more seasons after this. Uh, but I doubt it. Like I said, it looks like they lied at this point. Otherwise, why would his future be up in the air? Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out Good Science Fiction and the Hidden Emperor. You'll really love this. We'll be back soon. 